They gave me two minutes to tell you about 15 years of my life. <laughs> Stefan, I've never wanted a CEO to hug me like you did this morning. <laughs> Thank you for your investment in our community and in your belief in our community. Thank you. Governor, what a partner. I remember the first time uh, Bob Corker and I tried to convince you to build an interchange that Governor Sunquist had started in the planning. You came in, you were a new governor. You made us attend two rallies with you that night. <laughs> and you asked Bob Corker, and, and Matt Kins, uh, uh, Kisber was there, how do you spell interchange? <laughs> well, we've got it, thanks to you. And we're moving forward. Oh, what a good day. What a good day. There's a lot of people that I should thank and I, I won't be able to because I don't have the time or the memory. <laughs> but I would tell you that I'm going to single three people out who have been behind the scenes just making things happen over and over and over again. Uh, my staff, of course, and Nancy and Steve and Becky. Yeah. The three of them know who they are. Yeah. Stefan, you mentioned the, the young children here. Those are my grandchildren. <laughs> and 15 years ago, before they were born, we thought about the vision for this community. We thought about how we would take that old site if we could ever acquire it, and we did, and turn it into good family wage jobs. You have helped my dream come true today. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. To all those naysayers who said it would never happen. <laughs> Here you are. To a county commission who's been very patient with me as we spent your money to get ready for this day. It took vision, it took We're here. We don't have to answer that phone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but we thank all of you. Commissioners, thank you. I would say to you, uh, get a good night's sleep. The work is just about to begin. Right, that's true. Uh, the people expect us to create jobs and, and help with a good economy through our new friends from Volkswagen. The leadership of an outstanding governor. Governor. <laughs> Literally hundreds of people helped this day come true. Hundreds and hundreds of people. And let me introduce to you a partner. I worked with four different mayors. Mayor Roberts, Mayor Corker, Mayor Kinsey, and Mayor Littlefield to get to this day. <laughs> you wore them all out. I wore them out. <laughs> Wearing me out. I was beginning to wonder about you. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mayor of the City of Chattanooga. And then, in the course of this long and winding road, everyone had an opportunity to share their Volkswagen stories. And this brought back memories to me of about 40 years ago when I was newly married and had two Volkswagens, a Volkswagen Bug and a Volkswagen Bus. No, I wasn't a hippie, <laughs> but I did have a bus. And uh, as the family grew, we traveled in those cars and some of the finest family memories that we still have and photographs and just uh, parts of our family are tied to Volkswagen. 
And so, in the course of this, perhaps in an excess of zeal, as I told uh, President Jacoby, when I was delivering him to the airport, I said, I have promised my wife that if your company comes here, I'll buy her a new Volkswagen. <laughs> and I am challenging you to make me make good on that promise. You can bet on it. Absolutely. <laughs> She's not here, but I know she's watching on one of those cameras back there, and she's probably recording it. Well, today is about partnerships and the synergies that have transformed our community and the seamless work. And, and I can tell you, those of you who are, have been involved in local government for a long time know that there's something of a football rivalry between city and county forces. And when Claude Ramsey said, let's put all of our public works people and equipment out there on the site and see just how much we can get done. So we've got two pretty big construction companies. That was his idea. And in the back of my mind, I thought, a fight will break out. <laughs> but I can tell you, there has never been anything that warmed my heart more than those two usually highly competitive forces with lots of heavy equipment and big burly guys and some women scattered in there amongst them that uh, worked so well together. They met, they had a meeting every morning at 8 o'clock. They decided what they were going to do. If one piece of equipment ran out of fuel, somebody else fueled it. They didn't ask who's doing what. They just worked together. And having said that, I want to thank my staff who are here and the city council who are over here mainly but somewhat scattered around for your patience as we have worked our way through this. I just really want to thank you because I know it's been tough sometimes explaining to your constituents, no, we're holding out for the best and we think we're on the right road. You've had a lot of pressure. I know. I've been there on the council with you and I just want to express my appreciation. Thank you.